are getting in the mix. Downtown Nashville is full, and I mean full, of basketball fans. Joe Breezy has the full report. What's going on? This is true. A lot of ballers in the house, ladies and gentlemen, this week. <laughs> Why? Because the SEC men's tournament, the college tournament, is kicking off, like, right now. Uh -huh. Like, legit, like, right now. Now, this has become an annual thing at Bridgestone, which I think is really, really cool. And we do love us some hospitality around these parts. So, this runs through Sunday, and I'm happy to report that there are premium ticket packages available, including suites, all session tickets with Lex Lexus Lounge access, oh. Eurostone Club, the whole thing. Um, so many games, so many schools representing. So check it out. The action runs through Sunday. You can find like even inexpensive tickets like during the day, like a 10 a.m. tip off yeah. and that kind of thing. So and it's just fun to be a part of the action. They got the whole new MGM, you know, that MGM Grand like kind of new sports room inside the Bridgestone, mm -hmm. which is open to the public and yep. just to be right around Broadway during all of it is pretty cool. Exactly. And you yeah. know we love that Lexus Lounge. Yeah, this is true. We love us some <laughs> hospitality. Uh, quick question. Have you ever played basketball? Did you play basketball growing up at oh all? Oh my I, gosh. I don't think I know this. Yes, I did. Uh, like community basketball and I only scored one basket in the opponent's basket. Oh, okay. I was wondering why no one was running after me. They <laughs> just kind of like, let me. <laughs> this is a magical <laughs> moment. <laughs> and then you're one and done. One and done. Okay. A for effort. You I failed, put the ball right? in the I hole, failed. This is but at least you scored that, so. while doing your best, Thank I guess. You. Thank You're welcome. You. Positive You're welcome. affirmations, There you go. People. All right, so you got to say it with me. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, 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 that's right, and that's exactly who you're going to see at TPAC tonight through Sunday. Now, most of us have seen the movie by Tim Burton, a total classic, but now you can see the musical, right? Ooh. Pretty neat, you know? By the way, can we give a quick second and just, like, shout out all the volunteers and all the workers that have worked at TPAC throughout the years? Like, we've all met just some fabulous, sweet people that have worked there for so long, yes. and they are the real, like, MVPs, just keeping the shows moving, yes. and, and it's just such a fun behind TPAC. Yes. And it's cool, like, like meeting people that have volunteered there for years and years mm -hmm. and years and just mm -hmm. a part of it. So, mm -hmm. yeah, shout out to all my... Make uh, the show special. Yes, exactly. All the TPAC workers out there. Yeah. All right, so who's feeling lucky? One, two, all right. And if you're feeling lucky at home, definitely start celebrating St. Patrick's Day a little bit early. And good thing we live in Nash Vegas because there are plenty of <laughs> options. Obviously, the big events are this weekend, but if you're looking to go out tomorrow or Thursday, you can check out everything from Goat Yoga Nashville. They're doing this, like, lucky o goat session, which seems pretty neat. Uh, the Irish tenors are performing at the Nashville Symphony uh, at the, with the symphony at the Skirmer Horn. Mm -hmm. uh, they're great. There's pool parties even, especially with Mother Nature just showing off, and we're pool fabulous parties? for them. Already, already open? Virgin, uh, starting this Friday, Virgin Hotel, W Nashville and all that. Uh, even Liquor Lab is doing St. Patrick's Day cocktail classes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fabulous. So that's pretty neat, yeah. Wonderful. But I will definitely be back on Friday during In The Mix to talk all about the big events, the family-friendly events, and just the big festivals Ooh, to celebrate the, the, all around Middle Tennessee. St. Patrick's Breakdown. This is true. Okay. This is true. Yeah, good deal. All right, so with all the excitement about the bars from, you know, some of our favorite musicians opening up, uh, Eric Church is obviously one of them. Now, he is stepping up his game and gifting his bar to his fans. So check this out. So what he did is that he took thousands of bricks, like the actual bricks mm -hmm. that are used to build his place, mm -hmm. created separate deeds out of them, and you can own the deed and a brick. <gasps> Pretty neat. So you can literally own a piece of Eric Church's new spot. That's really cool. Pretty cool. I've never heard of that. You mm -hmm. can go online, uh, you go on the website, you can match your deed to the exact brick. You're going to receive a visual, uh, digital version of that. It actually includes like exclusive content, priority entry to his bar, which is pretty neat. Um, kind of cool, right? Wow. Where like, that's my brick. Boom, let's walk right in. And he did today just announce a 19-date residency at his bar, too. So he's going to be around his bar and performing live all throughout the summer. He's so involved. I love Super that. Super cool. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so I want to get your opinion on this a little bit. little uh, Laura Schweizenator <laughs> hot take, okay? So Kristen Cavallari, Nashville Zone. Yes. She just, we found out a few weeks ago that she's been dating famous TikToker, Mark right. Estes, who is 24 years old. She's 37. So 13-year age gap. So she finally broke her silence about this uh, on her Let's Be Honest podcast she said uh, basically like I knew what it was gonna look like from the outside looking in uh, but then again he makes me happy she was heading to Mexico for an uncommon James for her Nashville location like for an event he tagged along on the trip now they're all in hot and heavy seem to be happy 13 year age difference again they are consenting adults yeah. uh, starting with you Laura what do you think about age gap dating I think it's okay if you have a soul connection who cares 
doesn't matter the age. Okay. As good long deal. as they're uh, obviously of age, that being right? said and all that kind of yes. stuff. Okay. Yes. Cool. Yes. Good deal. What I'm kind of the same way. Like. Outside looking in, there's always kind of a sticker shock, but if it makes you happy, who cares what people yes, think? Yes, exactly. Be happy and follow the happiness. So good for them. I'd be more interested to see what he has to say about that potential TikTok ban that they have going on. Oh, that's mm. true too. We shall see. All we'll right. find out. Thanks, Joe.